name is Wan Ting, and uh, last name is Q Yu. In Chinese, it's pronounced as Chu Wan Ting. That's my full name, and I'm a singer songwriter, uh, Changzhou Ren. Yeah. Um, I I was never diagnosed. Like I was never gone to a doctor and figured out that you know depression is what I was going through. But I am pretty sure I have uh, suffered uh, like maybe multiple times of depression in my life. Back then, I don't even know what mental health was. I didn't even know what depression was. I just I was just going through it. I didn't know like oh those stuff th- those thoughts I had at night where I felt like if I just disappeared right now like like who would care? I didn't know what I was going through then. But like looking back and and also I I appreciate like the society now we're more open to talk about these things. So I learned about oh okay okay maybe that's what. What I was experiencing, which was depression. Um, oh, like so and so, like another artist expressed that, and then I I heard about her story. I'm like, oh wow, like that's basically what I was going through too. So then I concluded that、um, people suffer from depression, from mental illness, and it's okay to talk about it. So now, yeah, like I feel more、um, open to、um, talk about it because I feel like it's not just me are going through it. It's everybody. Everybody. Everybody probably at some point goes through some dark times, and it's okay to talk about it. And and actually, it is helpful to talk about it. For me, I'm always drawn to singer and songwriter music because I feel like whatever they're going through, it's like what I'm going through. It's very similar, so I can like, like relate to that. And then I feel like if they're like alive and singing. That seeing their experience, sharing their experience, I look up to them. I go like, okay, if they're good, like I'm gonna be okay. It's kind of like that, and that's how I feel with with my fans too. I feel like I have a responsibility to, yeah, go through the dark times, but like always come back to show them that, you know, if I'm okay, if I've done it, if I gone through that terrible thing and I'm okay, you'll be okay too. A lot of my songs actually start with a feeling. Maybe it's like、uh, not a very happy feeling, but you know, I actually told myself that、um, the best thing for humans to have is to have hope. So I told myself, even though I feel negative, and when I'm writing a song, I start with the negative. I always end with positive. So like, if you listen to my song.、Um, Like it's it's either the the words will become positive in the end, or or、um, the tone of the、uh, melody, like the melody or the arrangement, will become positive in the end. Because I, I I feel like that's what I want to leave to the world. Like I want to bring more hope and bring more positivity. Like for example, this new song called Mute.、Um, That one is is really just how I feel in those moments. I feel like I I don't have a voice, and I feel like people are not listening, and I'm not I'm being under being misunderstood. Instead of feeling other people are not listening, I decided I'm not gonna speak to people don't matter. Like I'm not gonna speak. To, I'm not gonna waste one ounce of my my energy of one word. On people that don't matter, so that's that's also like,、um, you know, turning that negativity into like pos- positive. People give you so much expectations, and they say you're gonna be, you're gonna do this, you're gonna be this, you're gonna become this, and then like when you don't reach that goal, when you're not becoming that, when you're not getting there, they might give me pressure. Yeah, it just makes you. Feel like what if I don't become that, and therefore I'm nothing, like I'm useless. So, like especially、um, Chinese culture, like because parents want the best for their children, and and like kids were brought up to believe like the best thing that you can do for your parents is to make them happy, is to become what they want you to be. It's like, do you live your life or their life? Are you living for them, or are you living for yourself? Are you chasing their dreams, or are you chasing your dreams? What I、um, tell my family when they are 
in a rush like oh you better do this you better become this i just tell them i said okay just have faith in me just trust me okay and then like trust that i have this ability to be happy and and make you know make something for myself like i'm kind of happy that i did it and i wish i wish this to everybody just follow your path and follow your dreams and um have patience with your family with with people around you and just but like be strong in your own skin and do what you love to do what what gives you joy every day only when you are being misunderstood you you can you can fully understand how important it is to 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 understand other people only when you are not being accepted you then you can understand why it is important to be accepting of others well, only when you are treated like crap you can understand why you should show respect to all others and only when you are um neglected okay abused you realize that you should not ever done anything hurtful to anybody else um anyone else that includes the the, the planet the, the the animals the people you know it's every, everything all beings all kind this is the final reason why i became full vegan was the animal um abuse it was a just animal exploitation like mm-hmm. humans take 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 from animals um and they animals don't have a voice to speak of like you know it, it's just i feel like it's, it's selfish that we we have to um build our happiness on top of their suffering it's just selfish and because i have been um abused i i know how a victim feels like so i i put myself in their position and i felt it and i felt even worse like for them to going through all their life to be in captivity it's very empowering to stand up and to fight and that gesture that action alone is not just affecting yourself it's also affecting others you're helping other people i think that's what bring us joy as well in our lives is to help other people is to see other people become better or become happier because of your actions. I just feel happier that way like to help to speak up for the animals, to speak up for the environment. I came to Canada um when I was 16. Um I had no family, uh no friends, um even though English was my best subject when I was in China studying, like that was my favorite subject. Uh, but still i didn't really speak the language fluently but still it's like it's really hard when you don't have parents with you in a foreign country especially at a young age because it's easy it's very easy for you to uh get influenced if you hang out with the wrong people like i was taken advantage of i was mistreated so I think back if I had even just one parent with me those things probably wouldn't happen. But you know those experiences are experiences that I that that makes me strong. It makes me um want to stand up for um in inequality, uh racism or um you know be a feminist. I just want to say that life is like a song. I actually have a song called Life is like a song. It is re- it literally goes up and down. Sometimes it just takes a long, long time to get what you want, to get to where you are now, to where you want to be. It takes time. So allow yourself to have those moments where you're down, but remember you're going to go up because I always tell myself when you're at the bottom of your life the next step is always up okay just remember that so whatever you're going through right now embrace it cuz you're not going to continue to experience that 
down the road. You're gonna get better. You're gonna go up. Something's gonna happen if you don't give up. If you're focused. If you have that strength in yourself, be resilient, and have courage to continue. Hang on to hope. Hang on to the light. Hang on to maybe just that voice in this piece of music. And then I just say namaste to all the past experience I had, whether it's good or bad, because it made me a better person. I truly believe that. Um, even though you know, during those times when it was happening, it was so painful. It was hurtful. It was like the end of the world. But I know,、uh, as long as I have hope, as long as I have,、um, I dig deep、um, to to that、uh, to find that kindness and compassion to others, to the world. I can move through it. I can bend it through. I can, I can, I can bend a little to make it through.